Hello and welcome to Uroro Niwa. My name is Mike Charlton. Um, I just thought it would be kind of fun. I was, I was actually just finishing up for the day and I thought it would be fun to just mess around a bit with this game. Um, I had a good time the other day when I did my update. So I thought I'd do kind of the same thing again and just talk about just random things, I thought. And I just, maybe I'll just do kind of like a playthrough of, uh, of Tales of Ma JL um, without really explaining what's going on and just uh, talk about what's been going on uh, with Uro Uro Niwa. Uh, of course, it's only been a couple days, but I think if I do a lot of, if I do a lot of um, videos in the meantime, then uh, it just keeps me in practice of doing it, um, rather than uh, having a delay and then getting out of the habit. So here you can see I'm actually just, uh, I, I'm actually looking at some of these things, because the, the skills are actually new since the last time I played, and so I'm actually just uh, actually looking at them, whereas last time I just kind of randomly selected stuff. Um, but I wanted to talk about um, what has happened so far. So um, I finally today got out the uh, Zom Prestige Papers uh, meeting, and uh, so you can check that out. And um, now, um, tomorrow, we're going to go into Elm Beans again. So I'm actually quite excited about that because it's been a long time since I've I've worked on that. I've ha I have actually done some more coding on that and I actually worked a fair way through Elm Beans um, just because I wanted to try a few different things, but it's been a long time since I looked at it. So it'll be fun to go back to the beginning. Um, the other thing is I'm doing slightly different approach to recording and uh, um, editing. So before what I would do is I would record a whole thing um, and then I would edit all of the audio and the video together. And that's re actually really difficult because I, as you can tell when you hear this where I, I'm not really going to edit this audio very well, you can tell I'm, I'm not actually a great speaker. There's lots of ums and whatever. So I, I'm not a trained broadcaster. <laughs> um, although I have I have taught in a classroom before, but as you maybe have had teachers that are that are really crappy, um, that that probably describes me as well. <laughs> Although my my I think my students had fun in my class, so that that's what I was most proud of. Um, but um, yeah, so my new technique is to kind of just record the video of what I'm doing with the audio, and then edit for video, and then I've got the audio in the background, but then I'm going to re-record. The audio. Um, that's what I did last time, and it, it might be obvious in a few places actually, um, which is kind of unfortunate because I wasn't used to it. And it's hard to kind of listen to what's happening and at the same time speak. Um, so listening and speaking at the same time is actually really difficult. So that's what I've been trying to do, and I think it's a better approach. It'll it'll save a lot of time, and uh, uh, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, but it you know it it got me getting the uh, Dwarf Fortress video out on time um, for the first time ever, really, where it basically just took me, just took me a, a day of, of um, you know, my part-time editing to get it out the door. And that made me quite happy. Um, so yeah, that's quite positive. Um, with, with Elm Beans, it's a little more difficult. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be dif more difficult or easier, actually. Because with Elm Beans, I'll be programming and I'll be talking when I'm programming, and I'm used to that because that's um, what you do when you're pair programming. Um, so re-recording the the audio afterwards may actually be uh, difficult. Um, so that's about it, and then um, hopefully we'll. Oh, there is going to be there is going to be a few more videos for uh, Dwarf Fortress as well. I should mention that. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. There'll be one more anyway, um, and uh, then we may start a new, a new uh, uh, sort of dwarf mode video. But I, I am actually going to wait until the next update because it looks like there are some good bug bug fixes in the next update. So I may just wait till till those are done. Now. In terms of what's going on on the screen here, you can see I'm just going around killing things, and that's basically this game. It's a it's a roguelike game. You run around killing things, and you uh, and you pick up loot and stuff like that. 
Um, the thing that's kind of engaging about this game is that it is um, the kind of abilities you have and the characters you have are really complex. And it's actually quite fun because the you can kind of every character has a has a way to exploit. By the way, this um, you see this guy I'm fighting now. He's actually a special uh, uh, special character. I didn't actually realize he has a special background. You can see I didn't realize this at the time. <laughs> I'm like I'm again absolutely hammered, um, and there there is no way for my character at the time at this time to uh, to to beat this guy. I think, um, but he, we'll see what happens here. You can see I'm just getting hammered. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, so it, every system is completely different. You have to learn how to play each character. Um, but what's really interesting about it is that the characters themselves, like the powers themselves are kind of exploitable. And if you're really clever, if you think about it, you can become essentially super powerful with any one of them. Um, because it's a one player game, they don't really worry too much about balance, um, and you really do have to be kind of super clever to figure out these exploits. Um, so, you know, in terms of, of kind of playing the game and, and trying to think of new ways to exploit the power system, it, it's quite fun. And they, they're constantly nerfing it too. So, so that once you find a good exploit, it gets nerfed. Um, so it's, it's really fun. So you're kind of playing against that, that, uh, dynamic and I, I find it really fun and I, like I said I put I put you know thousands of hours into it so now you can see here I'm actually getting boxed in I had I, I made kind of a strategically bad move here and I, I'm in the I what I mean strategically bad I shouldn't be fighting this guy to begin with but I'm, I almost died there and so I'm kind of running around but um, I think this is just about it uh, so I, I'm actually going to leave it on a cliffhanger here and uh, we'll try and uh, get this video out the door um, uh, tomorrow, I hope. And we'll see how it goes. So that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. This has been Uroro Niwa. My name is Mike Charlton. Have a good time.